Okay, welcome to this quick tutorial where I'm going to show you how to keep track of a player's health. So if you're a player, you can give him some health value. Now the health value is something that changes um, or varies. So change, vary, same thing, synonym. So if that health is something that's going to change or vary, then you want a variable. So here's my fish. He's my player. He's going to be dodging apples. That's a terrible theme. It's an ugly game and yours is going to be better than that. But what I would say is click on data. You're going to make a variable, let's call it health, and I want it to be for all sprites, so everybody on the screen can talk about it. Now, you'll notice that his health is zero. That means he's dead. So, um, we want to, when things get started off, we want him to have some more health. So, I'm in the, fit, the brain of the fish. I would say right here when that green flag is clicked, grab your set health. Now, that's different than change health, don't forget. I'm going to set it to be whatever you want it to be, three. So now when the game starts, he's got three health. Now right, right now, it's never changing. It's just three all day. Now, um, what you want is when he gets hit by an apple, you want, it to, you want to take down the health. Now, I'm going to show you a pro tip. It is easier, I know this sounds weird, because it's the health of the fish. It's easier to do the detecting of the hit and the change of the health in the apple is what I would say. So I'm going to go over to the brain of the apple. That brain, the apple has all this stuff about moving and blah blah blah. What I'm going to say is, in the apple, I'll say when the green flag is clicked, you want to always, over and over and over again, ask yourself, you're an apple, don't forget, you're in the brain of the apple, so you're going to say to yourself, if I, as an apple, am touching the fish, then I'm going to grab that data. Now make sure you understand, set means throw away anything that's in that cup and replace it. Change means work with what's in that cup right there. Take it and change it. Now if I change it by one, it would go from three to four, from four to five. I want him to get unhealthy, so I want it to go down by one. Now this is going to be a little weird because the apple's always saying, "If I am I touching it? Now watch it. He was touching he was touching the apple for a long time. So it got triggered several times and the health went down. So you probably want in some way, don't dwell on this too much, you want to get that apple off of the fish. You could hide it, you could move it, you could do whatever. Um, but that's better. So it only hits that one time and it goes somewhere else. So it changed by negative one. Next time I hit something, it's going to change and go down another one. And then, now the way I have it rigged right now, there's no penalty for having negative health, but that should mean that you are dead, right? All reset does is moves the apple. So I'm recycling the same apple over and over again. I'm just moving it back to the beginning. But you don't want him to dwell there on the fish, is the moral of that story. Now, if you really want to see what reset does, it just makes him go to a random X position. FYI. Now, what you want is somewhere you want to say, well, if, you know, when the health becomes zero, the game is over and we should stop. So, um, you could say a little something like, now here's what's weird. This always is really hard for kids to wrap their mind around. Zero is the magic number. I'm going to type a zero. But, I'm not going to type a number here. I'm going to say if whatever is in that box, whatever is in the health cup right now is zero, then I'm just going to kill the whole game. Whole game can freeze. So I've got, it's three, it became two, it became one, it became zero, game is over. Now you'll want to do some fancier game over stuff, but basically health is it's going down by one when it's zero everything's over the reason you put all this stuff in the brain of the apple is because now i could duplicate that apple and they all have that same brain so if i hit any one of them each one of them is going to say maybe not each one of them is going to say that it would hurt the fish right so that one hurt me that one hurt me and the game's over. So it's it makes a lot more sense to put your code about decreasing the health and hit detection in your enemy. And that way if you want multiple enemies, they all get that code. 
when you duplicate it. So that's how to keep track of your health with a variable.